the safety of the bourgeois demands that the proletariat be kept in the most profound ignorance. If I step it down into English, it simply means that the safety of the leader demands that the people be kept in poverty. And that is what happens in Africa. In Europe and America, during election, they go around kissing babies and appearing to be nice. In Africa, they go around distributing rice and maize, appearing to be nice. In other words, the typical African politician impoverishes the people so that they may become attractive to them. And in order to be attractive, you must appear to have money. And this is why those in the political arena in many African countries have an insatiable appetite for things. Primitive accumulation of things is the rule in many African countries. A friend of mine once corrected me when I said that in Africa there is corruption. He said, no, in Africa there is no corruption. Corruption presupposes there is some element of intelligence in theft. What we see in Africa is looting and theft on an industrial scale. <laughs> and what I'm saying is not new to us. I never knew myself that there is any magic in the ballot box that today, if I'm a pauper upon being elected as a councillor or a member of parliament, suddenly my life changes dramatically. In fact, you younger people are now in the business of betting whether one English football team will beat the other, which I discourage. That is not where the jackpot lies. The jackpot lies in you are being elected a member of parliament in many African countries. If you are elected a member of parliament or a councillor in many African countries, that is your passport to El Dorado, the land of gold.